Greetings. Praise God. Welcome tonight to another episode of Thursdays with Minister Renee. Praise be to God. I'm so super excited to come before you all tonight to bring forth this on-time word. And the spirit of the Lord is just having me to go a little different tonight because he's going to have me to release uh, some declarations over us, to declare the word of God over us. Amen. But I'm going to go a little slower tonight because I want to give some people an opportunity to really get on. Um, hallelujah. So be while I'm waiting on the people to come on and on, to come in, I am going to um, go to a video because as some of you know, um, I'm also a certified relationship coach and I always say anointed certified relationship coach because I teach biblical principles concerning cultivating healthy relationships, amen, so that people can learn how to have healthy functional, productive, enriching, and fulfilling relationships, as well as personal development. That's also my specialty, um, helping you with goal setting, uh, helping you to um, discover your values, to really like fine tune them, to understand what your values are so that you begin to make decisions based on the word of God, based on the values that he's placed on the inside of you, you will not go wrong. So for those of you who may be interested in coaching with me, I want to give you an opportunity to take down my website, www.women, W-O-M-E-N, destined, D-E-S-T-I-N-E-D, -E -E the digit four, greatness, G-R-E-A-T-N-E-S-S -S dot O-R-G. And log on and book yourself a complimentary session, praise God with me, so that we can see if we're a match. Um, also, we can find out if if I'm actually uh, the person that you should be coaching with cons uh, based on whatever it is that you're dealing with. Amen. Because I know that I'm not called to everyone. So praise be to God. It will be no hard feelings. But I just want to give you all that opportunity. Also, for those of you out there that are listening and you're not part of my free um, Facebook group, I'd like to invite you to join Women Destined for Greatness uh, Facebook group as well. Praise be to God. I'd love to have you. Um, we have some things coming down the pike. We're going to be doing a vision board. We're going to do meet and greets. And we're we're all about uh, encouraging one another, praying for each other, and really being there to uh, spur one another on to good works, to pull out what God has placed in each and every one of us. It's not about any big me's and little you's. It's all about us, all of us together as a team. Amen. So I'd like to um, uh, extend an invitation for those of you who may be listening and you're not a part of my Women Destined for Greatness uh, women's group. Um, I'd like to invite you to join. Praise be to God. We are women that are destined for greatness. And let me tell you, uh, we're starting to, we're walking in our greatness. Amen. God is not going to leave us destined. We're going to walk into that greatness. So without any further ado, before I get into prayer, I'm going to show this video. After the video, then I'm going to go into prayer. So this will also be um, a good time for you all to grab your pen, um, your notebook, or if you take notes with your tablet, um, what have you, uh, have everything together because you're going to want to remember these words. You're going to want to remember because in order for you to walk in what God has for you, you're going to have to hold fast to the word of God so that you and remember that word and rehearse that word over and over and over until that word comes to pass in your life. Because one thing about the word of God, it will never return unto him void, but it will always go forth and prosper in the thing where he sent it. It is never in vain. God esteems his word above even his name. He hastens his word and to bring it to pass. Amen. So we, but we have to know his word and then we have to stand on the word. We can't stand on the word and then go back and talk and doubt and unbelief. We have to, you know, make sure that we are constantly renewing our minds 
to the word of God. Amen. I'm going in tonight. I pray that um, your hearts and minds are prepared. I really want you tonight, stay focused. God, your focus. Amen. Amen. So without any further ado, I'm going to go to this video and I am going to, praise be to God, share this video. Let me see. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I just give you praise, honor, and glory. Bear with me, everyone. I'm just trying to get to where the video is. Okay, I think I have to come out of here. I do. Uh, where's my video? Okay, let me put it here. Okay, that's not it either. Okay, let me come out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, maybe it's already here. Let me see. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. All right, start all over. Let's do this. Ah. Uh, Show me all the ghosts. Where is it? Okay. Now I had this up earlier, so I know that it is somewhere, but praise be to God that you be patient with me. Mm. Let me see if it's in here. I don't know. Okay, praise God. I don't want to waste too much time with this. I'm going to give it one more shot and see what happens. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Perhaps at the end, I'll do the video. But praise be to God. I'm going to just get right into um, the word for tonight. We're going to um, say a word of prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, Thank you, Jesus. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay. Mm. Heavenly Father, we just come before you today and we just thank you and praise you for this evening, oh God. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy to us today. Thank you, Lord, for total provision, oh God, in every area of our lives. Thank you, God, for never leaving us nor forsaking us, oh God. Thank you, Father God, for breaking up the fallow ground in our hearts, oh God, that our hearts would be good ground, good soil, that your word would take root in on tonight, Lord, and bring forth fruit to your praise, honor, and glory. I thank you for preparing every heart and every mind for the word of God on tonight. I thank you, God, for the demonstration, for the performance, hallelujah, that shall go forth on tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. I say, Holy Spirit, have your way, all of you and none of me, in the name of Jesus. Let the word of God come forth out of my mouth, unhindered and un unhindered and uninterrupted by any demonic force in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I cover myself and all that is under the sound of my voice in the blood of Jesus Christ. For I know that wherever the blood of Jesus has been applied, the wicked one cannot touch it. Father, I cover the airways, Lord God, with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, for giving your angels charge over each and every one of us, oh God, and all that concerns us, oh God, to see to it that and no evil befalls us, nor any plague comes now dwelling. I ask that you have your way on tonight. Save, heal, and deliver, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, like only you can, Father God. I thank you, God, for total restoration and restitution on tonight, oh God, in the lives of your people. And it is in Jesus' name, I bind the hand of Satan in the name of Jesus. I bind any spirit of distraction, every hindering spirit. I bind you in the name 
name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that you will not come against this, this segment on tonight. You will not prevail. I decree and declare that the word of God prevails. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Well, praise be to God. As some of you all know, um, we have been talking about many things and basically what the Lord has been having me to do, the Holy Spirit has had me to build a foundation and it started with our hearts, that our hearts have to be good ground. Amen. If we are with God, if we must guard our hearts against bitterness, against resentment, against animosity, against the spirit of offense, because we found through all the scriptures that we read that 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 would hinder the word of God from taking root in our hearts. That would hinder our faith from working. So the thing is, is that without faith, it's impossible to please God. So we found out that it, without faith, it's impossible to please God. We also found out that faith only works by love. So therefore, if my heart is corrupt, my faith will become contaminated and it will be ineffective. And we need our faith in order for us to lay hold to the promises that God has made us and walk in the inheritance that God has, has for us. We're going to have to God our hearts. We're going to have to walk by love because everything that we get from God is going to come by faith through grace. Amen. But we still have to God our hearts. Amen. And we talked about our mind, right? Remember that the enemy wants to control the mind. And so God was showing us that he's given us weapons, right? to guard our minds, to cast down every imagination and every vain hot thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and to take every thought captive into the obedience of Jesus Christ. In other words, when thoughts come that don't line up with Philippians 4 and 8 that says, you know, um, think on things that are pure, lovely, and of a good report, things that are worthy of praise and all of that stuff, they, if it has any virtue, if the thoughts are not in line with that, we are to cast that down because we know that that thought is not coming from God. And if it's not coming from God, that thought is coming from the enemy. And remember, based on John 10, 10, we know that the enemy has come to steal, kill, and to destroy. So whenever he's telling us something, we don't even want to take two minutes to pay attention to that thought. We want to cast it down immediately. Any thought that tells you, oh, God did that for them, but he won't do it for you. Any thought that tell you you're not worthy and, and all of this stuff and, and, and anything trying to bring you under condemnation, because remember, we've read in uh, Romans 8 and 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. And he also let us know that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So we don't need to be sin conscious. We need to be righteousness conscious because when God sees us, he sees the blood. He sees what Jesus did. And as long as you accept the sacrifice that Jesus made on your behalf, hallelujah, Glory be to God. You're walking in the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of God. We also went over in scripture where it talked about how if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things have become new. See, the Holy Spirit was having me to lay a foundation so that you would know who you are because without knowing who you are, it will be impossible for you to take dominion. It will be impossible for you to walk in the fullness of all that God has called you to walk in. You have to know that the authority that Christ had has been given to you. Hallelujah. That's why the word of God says whatsoever you bond on earth will be bound in heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. What he's saying is he will allow what you allow. And some of us remember we talked about even how God said in, um, I think it's Hosea four and six, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. It's talking about a lack of revelation knowledge and revelation usually comes as we meditate in the word of God, as we spend in time with God, as we're worshiping God, as we're praising God, as we obey in God, the Holy Spirit will cause that word to become rhema to us. And now it would like leap off the page right into our hearts. And we're able to see what we were not able
able to see before. And we even discussed how God can't deliver to us what we don't see. And see, I want to tell you tonight, beloved, that God, the promises that God has for you and I, they are going to come by faith, beloved. They are going to come supernaturally. It's not going to be by might or by power, but it's going to be by the spirit of God. Many of us are in the wilderness about to cross over, hallelujah, to the other side, hallelujah, glory be to God. But in order for us to cross over, God wants you to be prepared. He wants you to understand that, yes, there are giants in the land. Yes, they, but what God wants you to know that they're like roaring lions with no teeth. He wants you to move full speed ahead and keep saying what he said and, to, and lay hold of the ground that you have already gained and continue to occupy more and more ground until he comes, glory be to God. And you're going to take it by faith, by declaring what God said about you, by speaking the word of God over your life, that you are the head and not the tail. You are above only, you are not beneath, that you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above every situation, circumstance, any principality and power, any rule of the darkness of this world. You're seated in Christ Jesus above all of that. And from that position, you take dominion, beloved, and you begin to declare what God said. You have to speak that what he said about you, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you're made in his image and in his likeness. Glory be to God that he's planned good things for you. His thoughts for you are good to give you a future and a hope. And you are going to have to know this beloved, because when you're going forth to uh, possess your possessions that he's already paid for. In other words, remember that you are an heir of God. God owns all the silver, all the gold. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. Hallelujah. This belongs to God. All the good stuff belongs to to God and you are an heir of God. That means you inherited what God has. Glory be to God and you're a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. So whatever he got, we got. Amen. And so we have to know that going into our promised land to take possession, lest the enemy roar and, and use his intimidation tactics, because that's all he has is intimidation. But we have to remember that Jesus Christ made an open show of him openly triumphing over him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is defeated. He belongs under our feet and we need to stop giving him uh, uh, any kind of glory because every time when we start talking about the devil's busy or anything, we are magnifying him. And I want to challenge you on tonight that you stop focusing on the enemy and focus on God. Focus on the greatness of, of our God that we serve. Hallelujah. This is the God that parted the Red Sea so that the children of Israel could go through on dry ground. This is the God that caused them to, to, to plunder the Egyptians that used them for all them years of all their silver and gold and anything that was valuable. They took it all. And I'm trying to tell you, beloved, on tonight, it is time to recover all. I mean, all. I mean, everything. And tonight, God, the Holy Spirit just wants me to be able to release this powerful word over our lives, to declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, God is up to something good, but he wants us to hold on. He doesn't want you to just get excited tonight. He wants you to hold on to that expectation because see, he can only move. Faith is what moves God. Amen. So we have to stay in faith, not in a moment emotionalism, but in faith, knowing what the word of God says, standing on the word of God, knowing that we could go to the word of God and say, God, according to your word, I'm standing on your word. And I know that you are faithful and that you're going to confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles following me, not the other way around. We don't follow signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are supposed to follow us. We need to have the expectation that when I pray, 
pray for somebody and lay hands on them if they are sick that they're going to recover. We need to have that expectation. We need to have that expectation that Jesus had that he knew when he spoke to that fig tree and he cursed it. He didn't have not a second thought that it would be cursed. He already knew. And we need to develop our confidence in the word of God. Remember, he is the one doing the work, but we have to declare the word of God. Hallelujah. We have to declare the word. And as we declare the word, praise be to God, we are going to see the manifestation of what we have been declaring. But I'm challenging you on tonight, beloved, that you stay focused. I mean, for real, because haven't you been robbed enough? Aren't you tired of staying in this same space over and over and over again? You get excited for a couple of days or a month and then you back to normal. No, no, no. This is going to be your new normal where you are and have full expectation in the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray for many of you that God will set your heart on fire like never before, that you would desire to have that relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That he will be able to show you things to come and he'd be able to bring back things to your remembrance that you need to be reminded of, that he'd be able to show you, don't go this way. Don't make that deal. Don't do this. It will keep many of us out of trouble if we would be obedient and take advantage of all the arsenal that God has given us. He's given us everything that we need, beloved, to live this life and live it godly. Praise be to God. We have to believe him. We have to lay hold of it. And the thing is, is that he wants us to be able to release our faith that when we have a need, believe we received it right when we have the need because we're not. This is why our minds has to be renewed. He has to uproot that old way of thinking that we learn from being in the world, being away from God, not submitting and surrendering our lives to God. So we learned how to live paycheck to paycheck or when this happens or that happens. God wants us to know today that faith overrides time. So if it's something that you need as his daughter and it look like it's the midnight hour, you have a blood bought right, beloved, to stand on the word of God and get that thing released and that need met when you need it. Glory be to God. I want to encourage you on tonight that the kingdom of God is on the inside of you, fully equipped with everything you and I will ever need to live this life. You have to re release it. You release, hallelujah, those provisions and everything you need from declaring the word of God. You have access to the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All you have to do is ask God for wisdom concerning whatever it is that you're dealing with. And you ask him in faith without wavering, believing that you receive, knowing that you have a right to the wisdom of God because of the blood of Jesus, beloved. No Knowing that you have a right to total provision, to abundance. The word of God says in John 10, 10, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He also tell us for this purpose was the son of man made manifest that he would destroy the works of the devil. Glory be to God. I'm trying to tell you that. I understand the word of God tell us we shall go through trials and tribulations, but he's not talking about sickness and disease. He's not talking about poverty, lack and debt. And I'm going to tell you why not, because those things are under the curse. Why would that be a trial and tribulation when he's redeemed us from the curse of the law that all of those things are under beloved? Glory be to God. Now we understand we're going to come against persecution. We're going to be hated. But far as being sick to glorify God, the devil is a liar. That does not, I'm telling you, that's a lie. So some of us, sometimes we are, we are settling for things because it's happened to me too. Settling for things, not understanding that that was not what God wanted for me. God did not have that situation for me. And I'm sitting up here thinking that I'm, I'm suffering for righteousness sake. Mm -mm. When you, this is why we got to get in the word and we got to know what the word of God says. So, you know, wait a minute, if this is under the curse, I'm not supposed to be dealing with this. And I want to encourage you on tonight that when you, God wants you to rise up and stand against the things that are not in alignment with prosperity. So if that's debt, if that's lack, if that's, you don't have enough, come on. 
God wants us to say, uh, this is not, I, I, I come out of agreement with poverty. I come out of agreement with debt. I come out of agreement with sickness and disease and, 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 and just drama and all of these things that are under the curse. I come out of agreement with these things in the name of Jesus. You don't belong to me. I don't belong to you. I've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb, the spirit of the law of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from this law and I receive prosperity. I receive abundance of all good things. I now have a new mindset that I expect all good in the name of Jesus. I now have a new mindset that no matter what's happening, I have access to the joy of the Lord, that no matter what happens, I have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding to keep my heart in mind in Christ Jesus, that I decree and declare a thing and it is so. The light will shine upon on my path. The word of God says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whatever I say as the redeemed heir of God that lines up with his word, it is so. Glory be to God. He calls us when we walk in our righteousness, the righteousness of God, and you understand that you will be ruling like a king. And how do kings rule and take dominion? They rule by decrees, beloved. And this is why he said, the weapons of my warfare, or your warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down to the complete overthrow and destruction of strongholds. We read stories. We went over scripture like the four lepers that said, why stand here until we die? We're going to go forward. And just by them deciding to go forward, God caused, caused the enemies to hear the, like an army. And it was only four of them, but the enemy heard an army coming and they got so frightened that they left all the spoil behind. I mean, everything that was worth anything, all the gold, all the silver in the name of Jesus and beloved, God is going to do the same thing for you today. When you decide that enough is enough, I'm going to recover all, everything I'm going to recover. I don't care if it says I don't qualify. God said he has qualified the call. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. That if God be for me, who and what, who or what can be against me, we're going to stand on the word of God and we're going to take back what belongs to us. And the word of God says that from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. I'm trying to tell you that when you take a stand that not today, oh no, I'm taking, I want all my stuff. Now I'm not going through another day. No, embarrassment does not belong to me. Shame and disgrace does not belong to me. Those things are under the curse. I'm not receiving those things. I am blessed and highly favored. God, the favor of God is on my life in the name of Jesus. And I command every area of my life to come into divine alignment with the perfect will of God. And I'm talking about begin to stand there and declare, beloved, call in your business, call in your clients, call in your finances, call in whatever you need, your new home. And I'm telling you, beloved, just keep going. I don't care if they say, uh, you you need to have this requirement. I'm telling you, beloved, put it in anyway. Trust in God, believe in God, declaring the word of God that if God be for you, who or what can be against you? Those of you that have things against you, derogatory credit scores, whatever, you use Colossians 2, 14 and 15 that says the handwriting that Jesus blotted out all the handwriting and ordinances that was held against you and nailed it to his cross. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, beloved, that everything that God has for us, we're going to get it supernaturally. This is why you need to understand the weapons of your warfare that he's given to you. You need to understand praise. You need to understand prayer. You need to understand touching and agreeing. You need to understand giving. You need to understand sowing into somebody else's life, helping somebody else that might be going through something that you're going through. Amen. You definitely have to remember to guard your heart. Amen. Through this whole time, you will not, do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. You have to know the things that the enemy will use to try and trip you up. And I want to also remind you that he does not have any new tricks. He's going to use the same thing that he knows always worked yesterday. But the difference is today, that bell that he he used to ring yesterday. God
God, I believe is uprooting that bell. That bell is being uprooted even now that that same enemy could ring that bell. But because that part of you is dead, that part of you is not going back to no loader bar. You going, you going into the promised land. You refuse to settle for less. You have gone through too much. This time you taking it all. No, you're not coming out of this with somebody else done walked over you, done used and abused you. You coming out with the husband. You coming out with your children. You coming out with the silver. You coming out with the gold. You coming out knowing that God brought you out, able to testify of the goodness of God and people where people will see you and glorify God because they'll know that this was God's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready? Glory be to God. Because I know I'm ready. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to bless you, Lord. I want to thank you, God. I thank you because you are an ever-present help in a time of trouble. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Not any time are we by ourselves. You are with us 24 hours a day. When we pass through the waters, when we go through the things that we go through, you are with us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you and us are a major majority. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, that in this season, you are bringing mutually beneficial and synergistic and blessed and purposeful, meaningful relationships into our lives. Gone are the days that we're selling ourselves short, getting into relationships, whether it's romantic or even with other people that are not able to, to don't have the capacity to receive what God put in us. Hey man, hallelujah. I thank you God today, even for heightened discernment in the mighty name of Jesus, that we would know the intents of people's hearts. And I thank you, God, that in this hour, you are putting people together that know that they belong together. I thank you, God, for just divine ideas, Lord. I thank you for divine, uh, to, to, for downloading, God, your plans, your strategies, Father God. Thank you, God. And I thank you that we're all in a place to receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So hallelujah. Without any further ado, hallelujah. I just wanted to go in and read this confession for executing justice. And this is for all of you out there that you know you've been through hell and back. You've been in the same place for God knows how long, glory be to God. And you simply have made up in your mind, enough is enough. All oh, I'm going all the way, God, and I'm going to get everything that Jesus Christ purchased for me to have. Amen. And that he purchased for me. I mean, he shed his innocent blood. He does not want you to be poor. He does not want you to be sick. He does not want you to be embarrassed and full of shame and disgrace. He was uh, put to shame so that you don't have to be ashamed. Glory be to God. He told us that he would give us double for our trouble, double for our shame. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank God today for honor. I thank him for restoring our reputations. And I thank God that our names are associated with honor and glory and prosperity, hallelujah, and gentleness and wisdom, glory be to God, that our names are associated with the kingdom of God, hallelujah, that when people are calling our names, hallelujah, it's a good thing, hallelujah, glory be to God. I thank God today for total restoration. The word of God tells us in uh, Proverbs 6, before I read this, what I'm going to declare over us, I want to quickly Turn to Proverbs chapter six. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And Proverbs six in verse uh, 30 and 31. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. And you know, the word of God tells us in John 10, 10, that the thief came not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Beloved, he's letting us know who the thief is. So the thief has been caught. 
And we are commanding him in the name of Jesus to restore sevenfold of what he stole. Every time he caused us to cry, every time that he stole something that belonged to us, every opportunity, we're commanding him to restore sevenfold right now. We're no longer taking no for an answer. We're believing God for open doors in the name of Jesus. And I want to say this, when I declare this word, it's not for you to wait till something fall from heaven. You take this word and you run with it. You go put in for those positions. You go put in, do something in that business. You 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 talk to some clients. You do, you do what you were not doing before because you heard the word of the Lord. And now you take this word and you arm with this word and you have a resolve that you will not be denied. And not only will you not be denied, you cannot be denied. Amen. Glory be to God. That's the kind of resolve you got to have because see the enemy likes to play tricks because he is a deceiver. So he likes to make you believe that you have to accept this. The thing is, if you buy the package, if when he rings the bell and tries to bring different things that's under the curse to you, he needs you to sign for it. Beloved, God wants you to be on your A game and you are not signing for it. You're standing against it. You're resisting it. It doesn't belong to you. Don't let it come out of your mouth about being broke, about being in debt. You're going to keep saying what God said about being sick. You're going to be saying you are healed because you have to agree with God. In God's mind, because he lives in eternity, you are healed. You are delivered. You are restored. You are rich. You are on top and not the bottom. You are above only and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. Everything you put your hands to is blessed already. So you got to see it. And when you're saying it, see it, beloved. See yourself blessed. See yourself going to the other side. See yourself being maintained supernaturally. Hallelujah. Because it is your blood right. Your blood bought right. It was already paid for. So you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to deserve it. It's by grace, which is unmerited favor. Glory be to God. So now that we have that, I pray that you got this under your belt, that you got this in your heart. And now we're going to go forth in agreement and declare this over us. Glory be to God. I see you out there, Sister Lori. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless all of you who may be out there listening that I do not see. God bless you. Thank you for logging in. I'm telling you, God is taking you somewhere. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Come into agreement with this declaration and watch God. And don't just come into agreement with the declaration. Then you go and do what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Amen. And then you're going to see results. You can't wait to move after the Spirit of God left. You got to move when the spirit of God is moving. Amen. Glory be to God. So this is called confession for executing justice. And I got this from Bill Winston ministry because it's so powerful. This I remember having this years ago and just declaring it. I'm telling you, I want you to hold fast to your profession of faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise, beloved. Oh Lord, and I want you to repeat after me, everybody. Oh Lord, our God, the most high God, maker of heaven and earth, our creator, our provider, and our protector. You are the just judge of all the earth, sitting on your throne of justice and judgment in the high court of heaven. You, Lord, execute righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. You are the Lord of the Sabaoth, ruler of all, the God of angelic armies that fight against our enemies and avenger of our adversaries. Besides you, there is no savior. Salvation is only of the Lord. You hear that? Because of your great love towards all mankind and your love for justice and judgment, you said you forsaketh not the saints. That's us. 
but come to our aid on earth to uphold the justice upon which your throne in heaven and your kingdom on earth rests. Bring your righteous judgment upon our adversaries. Stretch forth thy hand and execute vengeance and recompense against all he is doing and for what he has put us through. Every suffering, humiliation, shame, embarrassment, loss, entrapment, sickness, and attack. He is the perpetrator behind all injustices and evil that have come against us through people. So we ask that you execute, Father God, upon them the judgment written, delivering us out of every affliction. Because your word declares how, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Restore to us everything he has stolen from us and our ancestors, everything delayed. Yes, Lord, that cattle, uh, that, 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 um, that, that mule, that 40 acres and a mule. Yes, God, that was owed to our ancestors. We want it back sevenfold of what our ancestors did not get. Everything delayed, bring it forth now in this season. I command the release of inventions, opportunities, discoveries, businesses, industries, creative ideas, relationships, contracts, awards, inheritance, and increase, and books that have been fraudulently held up, misdirected, sabotaged, blocked, stolen, and destroyed in Jesus' name. Execute your vengeance against the enemy speedily and bring Bring to us, Father, the full recompense that is due to us as redeemed heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, that we may advance your kingdom among men and nations. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Glory, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We receive it. We receive it, God. We receive the word of the Lord. We thank you for it, God. We thank you that it is already done. You said wherever two or more are in agreement, Lord God, touch and agree about anything they shall act, it shall be done for them from our Father who is in heaven. One thing we know, God, is that if we pray and we ask you, Lord God, for something and it is in line with your will and you're going to hear us. And if you hear us, we have the petitions that we asked of you. So we want to say thank you tonight, God. Thank you, God, for loving us, oh God. Thank you, God, for restoring unto us, oh God, all the years that the canker worm, the locust, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar has eaten up off of our lives. Thank you, God, for the miraculous on tonight. Thank you, God, for miracles in our lives every day, Lord, that miracles are the norm in our lives as believers, as kingdom citizens. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As your sons and daughters, glory be to God. I thank you, miracles belong to us. And I thank you, God, that we are embracing the miracles that come from you. We're embracing your supernatural ability, God. We know that it is not by might nor by power, but it is by your spirit. You already told us, oh God, that the just shall live by faith faith, oh God, by faith, oh God. And you told us, oh God, that men is not to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So I thank you, God, for filling our hearts with your word, for your word declares that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. God, I want to say thank you tonight, God, for confirming your word to everyone listening under the sound of my voice with signs, wonders, and miracles following in the name of Jesus. I bind doubt and unbelief in the name of Jesus. I bind all skepticism in the name of Jesus. I bind any witchcraft, any hexes, vexes, curses, and spells, and I send them back to the pit of hell from whence they came in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against all the works of darkness, against all the works of the enemy in the name 
name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that nothing shall by any means hurt us. You've given us power over all the power of the enemy. And in the name of Jesus, we exalt your holy and wondrous name. You are worthy. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We magnify you. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We tell you tonight, we love you, God. We thank you, God, that you are a good, good father. That is who you are. You are our way maker. Hallelujah. You are the friend that sticketh closer than the brother. You are the wonderful counselor, the mighty God. Hallelujah. Our everlasting father. I thank you, God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. I thank you, God, that all you want to do is be believed. And God, we want to just tell you, thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for saving us, oh God. Thank you for making a way where there seemed to be no way. Thank you for giving us hope on tonight. Thank you, God, for stirring our faith, oh God. For your word says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. And I thank you, God, that for loosening our hunger and our thirst. Hallelujah. For your word on everyone under the sound of my voice. Help your people not to be distracted, not to look to the left or the right, but to trust in you with all of their hearts, to lean not to their own understanding, but in everything, to always acknowledge you, to always ask you about everything before just doing it, to seek you, God, because you honor that, oh God. And you said, God, that you would teach us and show us in the way in which we should choose. You would guide us with your eye. You tell us to call unto you and you will answer us and show us great and mighty things that we know not of. Glory be to God. God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for going before us, making the crooked places straight, making your way plain before our face because of our enemies. I thank you, God, for giving us visions and dreams and speaking to us, downloading direction and instruction, oh God. I thank you for doing a new thing in our life. We've not been this way before, so we must keep our eyes on you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you're doing a new thing. It has sprung up. Oh, glory be to God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you for a new resolve within your people that we will not be moved. Hallelujah. We will stand still and see the salvation of God, that we will stand having done all to stand until we get what we stand in there for. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory, glory, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now at this time, I would like to give those of you who may not know Jesus Christ the opportunity to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. I'm gonna go to Romans 10 and nine. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And this is an opportunity for those of you who do not know God, because you cannot these what what I'm talking about tonight is for people that are in covenant with God. Hallelujah. People who have made Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of their lives. Glory be to God. And outside of him, you don't have a right to this covenant. Hallelujah. But God is inviting you, beloved, to come and be a part of, come and be a partaker. Glory be to God of the good things that God has for you. Hallelujah. So if that is you, I want to give you an opportunity to make Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of your life. The word of God says in Romans 10, 9, that if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved, beloved. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Do you believe? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your heart that God raised him from the dead. It, are you willing to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Hallelujah. Do you believe that God raised him from the dead? Then you shall be saved, beloved. Hallelujah. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come before you now 
in the name of Jesus, asking you to forgive me of all my sins in which I've committed in thought and in deed, the known and the unknown sins in Jesus name. I tonight I come wanting to make Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of my life. Lord Jesus, I make you the Lord and Savior of my life. Come and live in me, live in my heart, have your way in my life. Live your life through me today. I decrease so that you can increase. Teach me through your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that your Holy Spirit will be able to reveal you to me so that I, the life that I now live, it will be you living your life through me in the name of Jesus. Erase every trace that the enemy has ever been in my life. Restore unto me everything that he stole from me. I thank you tonight for restoration. I thank you tonight, hallelujah, that I have a new life in Christ Jesus, that all things are passed away and all things have become new, that tonight I'm a new creature. Tonight I became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you for taking my guilt and my shame and all my sin and iniquity and throwing it into the sea of forgetfulness. And tonight I forgive myself of everything that I've done wrong. In the name of Jesus, I forgive myself in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that I'm now born again. And Jesus is Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you said that prayer, Hallelujah, beloved. God is with you. Hallelujah. Thank you and welcome to the kingdom of God, beloved. Welcome. Glory be to God. He's going to show you how to live your life for him. He's going to take you on adventures of faith. I pray that God would open up doors for you to find a good church home where you will learn the word of God. Hallelujah. The truth of the word of God. Amen. And be able to grow by that word in the name of Jesus and develop into the full stature of who God has called you to be in Jesus mighty name. All glory to God. Glory to God. And now for those of you out there, I just want to say that if you want to sow tonight, please feel free to sow through Cash App, dollar sign, Renee Clerk, R-E-N-E-E-C-L-E-R-K, or you can sell through Zelle, 347-600-8014. God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. May God multiply back to you what you sow into me, a hundredfold return in the mighty name of Jesus. And I now, without any further ado, I'm going to attempt to play the video that I was attempting to play earlier. And then after that, I'm going to show the slides for those of you who may be looking for a church home. I attend Out the Box Ministries. It's a virtual ministry, praise be to God. And they have a lot of things going on for, uh, for adults as well as children. And it's all virtual right now. And we have a, a pretty good um, blessed man of God as our pastor, Pastor Jonathan Burnett. Praise be to God. Uh, that is always pouring into us and helping us to be the best that God called us to be and equipping us to go out and do the work that God has called us to do to advance and hold until Jesus comes because we want Jesus to find us working when he comes. We want Jesus to see us when, he, when Jesus comes back. We want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Glory be to God. So now let me see if I could get this video up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to see if I could get this video up. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, oops. Thank you, Lord. I pray that this message has blessed you. Hallelujah. I pray that it encouraged you. I pray that it was confirmation to you. And more than anything, I want to see you transformed by the word of God because that's what the word of God, once you experience that word of God, you cannot 
go back the same, beloved. It's just, it's impossible. Hallelujah. Let me see. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the video, but I don't want to waste too much time. I have six minutes. So let me see. If I don't get it tonight, it's all right. Praise God. But once again, those of you who may want to coach with me, um, I specialize in relationship coaching as well as personal development. Uh, please feel free to log on to my website at www.womendestinedforgreatness.org and book your 15-minute consultation just to see if we are matched. Praise be to God. Okay, so I'm going to use these few minutes to um, do the slides. Praise God. Praise God. So once again, this is Out the Box Ministry, uh, the church that is um, virtual that I'm a member of. And I'm just going to run through the slides so that I can show you the auxiliary. So we have um, a chosen generation. That's the young people on Friday night. Anyone from, I think, 18 and up. Uh, and let me tell you, it's run by a beautiful young lady, Alexi, hallelujah, Miller, praise be to God. She's a strong, powerful young sister in the Lord, and she's leading by example. You would want your young daughters it, to be a part of that. Amen. And then we have the Strong Roots Women's Bible Reading that takes place every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom with our own elder angel, praise be to God. And then we have the halftime men's ministry that takes place on Thursdays at 5 p.m. by another young minister, um, praise be, no, matter of fact, that's not a young minister, that's, a, that's another uh, pastor, praise be to God. And then we have the Remnants Children Bible Study that takes place on Mondays at 7 p.m. via Zoom. And that's for the, the younger children. They're learning about who they are in Christ. And I think it's so beautiful. Amen. Like they're declaring who they are in the Lord. Praise be to God. And then uh, on Wednesday nights, five o'clock, we have Jarrell's, Minister Jarrell's Bible Study. That's another young minister that is just bringing the word of God every Wednesday at 5 p.m. So those of you who may be interested, I'm going to give you the, um, tell you what the link is on Facebook and things. And then um, Fridays, um, they have a prayer line at 8 p.m. And we haven't gotten into the fitness ministry or the cooking ministry as of yet, but that's coming. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For those of you who may be interested, hallelujah, I just want to let you know where to find us on Facebook. Um, on Facebook, it's Out the Box with two X's, M-I-N. And then on Instagram, it's Out the Box, two X's, Ministries. Glory be to God. I, I just encourage you to log on, hallelujah, and see what we're all about. God bless you all, and thank you um, for tuning in um, this evening. Hallelujah. Until next week, Thursday, by the grace of God, you all have an amazing, blessed week. And remember to keep walking by faith. Love you all. Keep your eyes stayed on the Lord. Um, have a great expectation of all good happening. And I mean, you keep saying and saying what God said until you see what God said. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. And thank you once again for tuning and logging in tonight.